Revelation 253, from the 9th of January 1938. Struggle for Truth. Help through prayer. Once your heart has directed you to the right path, take it and remain faithful to the Lord till death. Things are still awaiting you which the Lord has destined you to do for the benefit of humanity, and you shall actively participate in all the knowledge conveyed to you in order to strengthen your spirit. As yet, much is still unknown to you which shall one day provide you with information about God's will, wisdom and omnipotence. The Lord himself will advise you time and again to persevere and to work in his honor and for the benefit of many souls. Always obey the voice within yourself, which will guide and direct you according to the Lord's will. And don't linger when you are advised to serve him. Everything that flows to you is predetermined, therefore you must not become impatient. Only the Lord knows why he instructs you in this unusual fashion and your complete trust, dedication and submission to his will enable you to receive his teachings time and again. Every desire for truth is a step towards fulfillment. The Lord distributes as it is conducive for his children and beneficial for their perfection. The struggle goes on incessantly for everyone, and if you want to attain the eternal truth you must patiently place yourselves at the Lord's disposal by proving yourselves worthy of the great grace of being allowed to work as the Lord's servants, with him and for him. Thus you are urgently advised to remain in prayer. The Lord will give you everything if you appeal to him for your soul's salvation and for strength and grace on your journey through life. Once you realize how your resolve to work for the Lord becomes stronger through prayer, you will use this means of grace increasingly more often and the Lord will stay close to you at all times. In days of inner contemplation you will always have the desire to faithfully entrust yourselves to the Savior, and this desire is the emanation of his divine love for you human children, since the more love you receive, the brighter your love for the Saviour will arise, and then it will be much easier to recognize the Father's loving care in his directives. The heart will gladly become receptive and the Spirit will lift itself up into the universe and hurry ahead to the eternal home. On days like these the earthly heaviness will not burden you so much, because your soul is following its true purpose and turns towards eternity. Once you have reached the level where you consciously turn away from the world and its enticements, your urge for perfection will become stronger. You will no longer walk alone on earth but will always be in contact with the Lord and nothing need frighten you anymore. Everything in your existence on earth will proceed as the Lord has determined, and all events will be of benefit for you if you trustingly leave everything up to the Lord. The earth is only a tiny part of creation, and just as certainly as it is a stage of maturing for countless beings, so certainly will that soul, which always and forever entrusts itself to the Lord and has united itself with him in love, leave earthly life completely purged and prepared for eternity. For the Lord blesses his own and gives them eternal life. He lets the light of realization illuminate them and guide them into the Father's kingdom. Amen.